and Aaron. Tonight's national anthem is being performed by South Carolina's chorus program led by Mrs. Jenny Hopgood. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to South Carolina High School for tonight's Northern Lake Athletic Conference matchup. Featuring the Vincent Travel Central Panthers and your South Carolina Vikings. Now the song line up first for the Vincent Travel Central Panthers. Number 10, Tayshawn Hester. It is live. It is here. It's here in the gymnasium. Gymnasium. A soccer high school here in Cremo, North Carolina. This is Friday, February the 16th, 2024. Bobby Jones, Joseph Kurt, and Billy Crotchery, Carl Yanson. We're back here, folks, and ladies and gentlemen, it's a main event between both teams, both teams, Vikings and the Panthers, <coughs> and it's on the NFF, the NFHF Network, where well, I'll get ready to go, play some basketball, back and forth, black and white, and here we go. 
That does wind it up. Now it passes to <coughs> number 21. 21 had that shot, and that's good. Number 21 gets it to go. <coughs> now what, can, what can the Vikings can do now? Mason Brown with the layup. That's good. Good time. Great time for Mason Brown. Just doing the, this job and getting this going. So now he's going to do it. Whatever we're going to do, do it. This team's going to do everything that takes to win. And that's that. Number 13. Number 13. With the easy left that goes in. It's a three pointer. That goes in. Prince with the three pointer. Great three for the guns to kind of begin to start. That's a steal. KJ Terry. Terry for three. That's good. Eight four score here in the first quarter. As Terry scores for his team. They're going to do something right now. Here's number 12 now. And a black block by Pierce. And a turn. It was in here doing his thing inside the paint. It was a block by Pierce, but it's going to be sent so far. And 21 for two points. CJ Austin. <laughs> Nice ball move by Sonic Rambo. Trying to get into the paint. And Sherman with five points. What a move. What a move. That is a easy, easy break. At this moment, the Panthers are losing a game. That's why that's a travel call. It's an early game. As this game goes on, does anything continue to pause and continue for both, for both teams? Well, the other team you have to do for South Carolina, if you're South Carolina or even Central, you just have to do it inside. You have come too far as a Seals, Seals night. Last home game and the final regular season. Y'all have come too far and have to fight through because you have to come back to strong that now. Inside Pennant. Pennant. Inside the pen, that's a lane. Bob Leeson now. And his last touch is going to be. And I think it's going to be something of a ball. As this game goes on, does there anything that's going out to do to the ball, please? But the answer is no. Today is a seal night. It's a final record of the season. You have come too far. And have to give it to 4-2 to tell you that right now. Harrison got the steal, and that's uh, going to be Panthers' ball. They're down by four points here in this game. 21 jumping. That's number 13, Jordan Austin. With a 21 shot, and that's cut to two. Finest call on San Cremo. I mean, Central. Never down after that, you no know, two. More shots that go on the inside and out. They're going to get this thing. I mean, Panthers trying to get this. They're going to go for that team. They're going to go for the double team for now. Tony was even doing the shot inside the paint. That will not go down number 10. Chance Hansen with the rebound. Watch Austin. Jordan lost it, but keeps it. Maintains the ball, number 15. <coughs> Javon Duncan. Javon Duncan, the seal of Central Panthers. The steal and the layup. Let's try to tie it up. Number 12 will come to tie it up. And he ties it. And the game is. 
time at ten. That was a good, good layup for that layup by number two, number twelve. Three pointer. A rebound by number fifteen. Javon Duncan. We <coughs> had a, the easy rebound. And kind of easy to see. That's not going to go. Seven minutes after eight. Number 15 trying to get out a piece of it. Duncan. Duncan is a feeling and a hard four and a feeling. Looks like Mason Bryan you had a two. Two point game with 320 remaining. That's a still. Oh, number 15 keeps it. And Duncan for that foul. Trying to get it for tie this game up, but he'll go for the two. Go for the line for two shots here in the first quarter. What an amazing, amazing thing that happened here. He missed the, he missed the shot. <clears throat> this time he makes another shot. Makes his second shot. And it's 12 11. Roberts with an easy two. Put the Vikings by three. That is a good, good shot down his hands. Anderson with a steal. That's the steal. The sock of a high. He was in. He was a smart player here, Rachel, when he played. And now this is his final game for Sock Nova in the regular season. The Panthers down by three. And number 12. Gallatin, who's in here trying to get the shot up with the defense on him. And Sock Rambo Bar. Roberts with a three pointer. He'll take it. No, that's not going to go. Here come the Panthers. Number 10 with a layup. Hester. He's inside the paint. That didn't go, but now he'll go to the line for two shots here in the first quarter. This soft member basketball is brought to you by Bojangles. It's bow time. Hester missed his shot. Seal for Sun. The seal for Grandma Sensor. Here comes Mason. Here comes Henderson. Kevin Hamilton, who they're all in the bench. And it's 14 to 12. The game is just not even close for this one for sure. 14 to 12 score. Shamily looks on, dribbles the ball. Missed it, and here comes the Panthers. And Hester. Let layup. I save the layup by Chiwan. And it's gonna be Sun Campbell's second team foul here on the half in the quarter. Nice. So they were not so Pampers would not get a three for number thirteen for three. That's not gonna go. It went up and down into the ground and that's the rebound by Sun Grandma. Wapples had the ball. Oh, almost came out with a steal that time. <coughs> Sandra, Sancho is doing a good job of pressing on the offense and Pierce with an easy layup. Shaving in the turn around. Roberts. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be against Sock Gravel. 
Shane with it. I suppose with the fistle, but it's going to go out of the all way. And Panthers going to have a chance to take the lead. We'll tie this game out for sure. They're down by two, and now this time they can't tie it up. Number Troy Hilton tying this game out at, at 14. A 21 jump on. And that goes in Jimmy. <coughs> Secondly, with a 21 jumping is up by two. You got to play this whole offense for Jimmy. He's pretty good, too. Like we said over before, a three pointer. That's not going to go. And the offensive rebound is taken now. Here comes the Vikings. Jimmy for three. Don't want go. Whistle blows and foul. Person foul is on Sock Rabbit. 35 seconds remaining here. The game is up by two with the Vikings lead. So now do I see the Sock Rabbit defense to, try to press up on the offense as the offense to try to tie this game up. Number 13, Austin, a fast car. Austin will go to the line. South Carolina's 14 foul. No three ball shots for South for Granville Sensor. Number 5 for downtown, that's not going to go. Shavers is in here doing that shot for behind the arc. And it's going to be Sonic Campbell. Good day hole for the last shot. And uh, the struggles continues to grab a central and the three pointer. It's not going to go. We got a good one. Both teams are going at it here. Our final round of the season. See you tonight. Vikings up by two when we come back here in the second quarter. <coughs> 16 14 on score. As we have start here in the second quarter of the game right now, this is a good one. Mason Brown with that layup. He keeps the ball, controls the ball, and gets it in. Gets it to go, and it's now up by four. That was an easy layup now for sure. A perfect timing going now for both players. Number 12. Don't team for three. That's not going to go. And this time it's 18 to 14. The score right now in this game. As they are <coughs> looking quick. They are looking good here. All teams on in the panel. A lot of fans standing. And what says Wampus in the easy left and is up by it's a six point game. Number 13 with that easy let up. Austin is looking for the foul. Will not get it. Now Wampus with the layup. Man. And a timeout taken by the Panthers. Down by eight here with six four to go in the second quarter. Vikings are in control. They're up by eight. You're watching soccer and basketball on the EFHS Network. Twenty-two to fourteen. Soccer will have the lead here. And this is a good one here. What? What? 
The Panthers cannot hold on. Then they gotta pay the price. It's now 22 to 14. I'll score. That's a three corner by Shaman. Now it's 25 to 14 on score in this game. Boy, so I can have a lot of unstoppable here tonight. I should move on, move it, number 10. And. A shot and finds on the Panthers. And he is. It looks like the Panther fans are not happy about that call. No, no problems with the defense or getting the shots in that one. That was an easy, easy lot for the defender. Oh, look at this. And it's in with a layout. Catch me if you can, gotta be quicker than that. And a travel car is on the Panthers. This soccer crowd is insane. They just loving this right now. Up by 13 points. A rebound. Wobbles again. Kent taking it on. A rebound again by Brown. And Brown is foul and he'll go for the line. But I cannot believe. I cannot believe that the sensor is. They lost control of it. They lost control of it. Defense are not doing a good job here. Or getting into. Okay. I'm not letting them give up, get in the easy layouts. They give, but they're giving up the easy layouts right now. They are doing a poor job of letting the Vikings go to the easy layout. So now it's 29 to 14 on score now. This time, it's, every, it's not everyone's game right now. Hell, as you can just see, it's everybody's game right now. Number 10, Austin with the. Number 10, Hester. Mason Brown with a tall line jumper. Gets it to go. And it is absolutely. On soft gravel right now. And number 21, with that easy, easy three, that's not going to go. Another one. Pow! That's now a soft gravel Stewart sitting in this gymnasium. It's kind of moment, Bob. Three pointer by number four. That's going to start the bleeding. 17 point deficit for Grandpa Sensor. That's a, just a no. That's a good start to start the bleeding. And the answer right back with a three and a half. with a three pointer. Sock Grandpa had the lead, still in the lead. It's back to 20. And the answer went back. Central answer went back. It's back to 17 deficit. Trading blows. Trading shots. And this time it's a foul on the Panthers. So Shimmerlin will go to the line with three shots here, with 317 to go. It was a amazing. He had that shot.
Both teams are trading buckets beyond the art. Behind the art. So now it's a still in one's game. So we'll see what the defense is gonna look like. And they're not gonna take a 3-4 shot. So no 3-4s, no 3s. No 3-4s here for Sonic Ramble now. But they still got the ball and they got the lead back. I tell you what, this Sonic Ramble team is played too well. And Austin, that's a block. Defense doing an incredible job. Control the balls and control the glass. And Roberts for the easy three, easy two. Easy layup for Will, sorry about that. A bomb move, a great bomb move about the sensor. And the fire call is on some ground. Cry is not happy about that call. Leave it. Fans booing. Screw yourself down booing. This place is packed. Full house here in Creamwall. This is your name right now. And number 13, Jordan Austin. Right now he's 39 to 21. Eighteen point game for Sonic Rambo. And I think we're gonna remember he takes a lot. This is off. This is got a sense of territory. Looks like Soccer is will call the timeout here with 2.22 remaining. Soccer is up bad and it's 39 to 21 when we come back. Welcome back to the score right now. It's 39 to 21. The score here in this game right now. Welcome to the Walking Back in this game right now. The score right now is just a good game right now. Wappers gets a 20 line shot. 20 for 3. That's not going to go in. And it's still going to be. Let's see the going ahead. Well, it will be. Well, Sanko will be on the boards, and KJ Taylor will take it. Two shots. Sonic Rambo. Yes, this shot, the second shot, missed both three fours here. And here comes number four. He gets up easy in the turn in and out. Jenkins for behind the arc would not go. Mason Brown with a strong body and gets it to go. And it's a 20 point game here. I think, I believe that we're going to see this, how this game song cover is all about. But this is a, now this is a cool bit of blowout. Three pointer by Jordan Austin, the Cena for Central. Got 17 points and turning with a layout. 
Vikings rolling. They keep it going. And Jordan with another three. Rebound. A nice rebound. How did he get injured? And now, but now, it's step out of bounds. The ball is out of bounds, and it will be. Sound grab a ball with one, eleven remaining. I think we're going to see right now on this defense. So I'm going to play defense, defense, defense. They're all over the, they're all over the, they're buying. They're all over the everything. They had everything on the full court. Look at this. Amazing play on. That's a 20 point game here. I think believe the Vikings are going to continue to control and control their destiny. They are in second place right now behind Sutton Dawn. And number 15 with Number five will take it down. That's number five, Sheamus, with a three-point shot. And it's back to 17 points. It's going to get real tight. And a dunk by Terry with the going. Another three-pointer by the Panthers. Rebound taken. Yes. Easy lap. Unbelievable, baby. And that will be the end of the first half. Half time coming up. Vikings lead 48-27. What an unbelievable and an ending. And this first half to this game. It's not over yet, folks. We got second half coming up, and I'll score in this one. Vikings 48, Panthers 27. When we come back, we're at the halftime. begin in the second half. The score is now 48 to 27. Now score. And there were, there were a lot of people out there watching this game here in this gymnasium. <clears throat> here we go here in the second half with the score 48 to 27. Seconds up by 21. Now it's number 12. He gets in the gun and a foul. Let's go 
Well, right now it's a good game here you know, for us. As we take a look right now, the score right now. 48 to Dotty. Enjoying this game right now, the score right now, this game for us. What about this? Yeah. That's a great, great. <coughs> this time it gets to, it's down to 16. Looks like it's the Frankers are turning over. So they're gonna get together here now. Well the sense is gonna get together. This is all about this whole stuff boy. Where the sensor is gonna bounce by, they're gonna try to regroup. Meanwhile, number five tickets. Can't hold on, it's a kick ball. And we'll be still going to be Panthers ball. Now to 21 for three. That's going to take it there, but now. Oh, Roberts try to save it. Now as Austin gets his chance. No foul, but he puts me in anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to cause a timeout. That cut, Sock Gravel got cut by 14. 48 to 34. Panthers sets all wrong when we come back. 48 to 34. Our scars. We're in this game right now. This is a, a good one here. And you can see them going up, going to pass. And start doing the double team down the steal. That's number 12. Number 12 gets it down and it's a 12 point deficit. <clears throat> Not what you want to do right now. I have to give it up the steal. Give up the 12 point deficit. Giving up the 12 point. So it's a 12 point lead. Soccer was still holding on. They had a great lead. And Pierce with a 2 point game. That's not good goal, but Mason Brown. <coughs> with the easy man. He has quick hands and it's 50 to 36. Take this for three. That's not good goal. Offensive rebound. And number 21 is going into the bucket. CJ Austin with the layout. The Juno. <coughs> Tom by the D. A 12 point game. Rebound. <coughs> and Terry gets the ball. Terry on the drive. Major Brown on the layout. Things are getting critical right now. And the easy layup. Jordan with the easy layup. That's cuts to 12. A 12 point game. Three point off. And a foul on him. And a foul on the Central. <coughs> Central will go for the line for two. What? Well, three shots. With 454 remaining. <coughs> this side is just doing the team with the guaranteed point. <coughs> Every count is going out to the inside shot. That is. You just see it right now. You just see it up to his arms right now. Jim didn't miss his first shot. But makes his second shot. It's a 13 point game.
Makes none. This back to 14. 14 point game here. Sock number half the lead. Three pointer for Jordan. And it's cut to 11. Why is it? Wait. Jordan and Oscar with that. Great. He had a great look here on right down behind the arm. Chevrolet. Answer right back in does. It not stopping it now. A great basketball game, you know. And <coughs> rebound. Taking it, I think <coughs> it's a foul. Hamilton is found. And that's a good, good, good call for the officials. So Hamilton will go to the line. This time we're not going. The soccer of the basketball is brought to by Bojangles. It's full time. 57 to 43, our score for South Grandma. Hamilton gets the go. 57 to 44, our score. Four minutes here remain here in the door quarter. And number three for the easy layout. Vikings have had an easy lens here in the full court, in half court. <coughs> and it comes to easy layout. Pelleton again. And the easy layout is <coughs> it's a level point it's a level point game. <coughs> easy Roberts. To Chamberly. A rebound? And Terry got in the way, so it's back to Dalton. Great game we've seen for both teams. Great games we've seen here. Jenkins for three corner, that's not gonna go. He had all by himself. Jenkins was all by himself. <coughs> that wasn't going, and that wasn't the best shots that he ever made, that one. Trying to make it a 10 point game. Roberts with a turn one shot, that's not gonna go. And the Panthers once again pushing it up. A rebound by Jenkins. And it's gonna be Central Ball. Nice touch by the Vikings, I think. <coughs> you gotta love this Central team. They're looking pretty good, they're looking pretty strong. It's a good thing that's <laughs> real. <coughs> Which here late in the third corner. That's an easy hit and looks like looks like it's tip. Number 13 is down. Number 13 is it going to look for downtown? No. Austin. They had an easy look here. <coughs> oh, he trapped me. That's a Johnson foul. It's gone. This was going on all the way. Since above with 221 with me. Number 2 you lost God. Number 22 lost. 12 lost it. That's a speed move with a triple team, and it does. It's a 11 point game. What a game it has been. Absolutely incredible. That shot by Jordan Austin. A turn one jump on Dynex. Sister one to 48.
Number 22. Didn't get off that time. Won't go. Here comes the Vikings. Pierce for three. It looks like it's going to go all the way. Jenkins to Brown. 21 for three. Got it. It's a 10 point game here with 112 or 10 remaining. Looks like he's going to have that time. And number 13 with a steal. He's going to go for the dunk. 21 gets it down. It's an 8 point game. Number 21, Austin. 23, 22, as long as I say. And they're going to try to do the double team. Tony goes to the layup. And it does. Sun Kramer has this game all, all popped up. Timeout sensor with 45 seconds remain here on the door. If you can just join us here, if you can just join us here now, this game is on on the wires here. It's a tempo game. 63 to 53. All score. Four hats here. A steal in for three more, and there's a steal by Pitt. Sock will control the ball now. Terry. Goes on. Pass to Henderson. Tony. Tony goes in. Look at that. He got the move. That's not going to go. And number 23 cannot hold on to the ball. Right, 16 point game here, it's 63 to 53, I'll score. Looks like we gotta have a heck of a game here. 21. Gets it. Last shot for Terry. And that will be the end of the dog quarter. Three quarters down, one quarter to go. Lots of drama here. In the gymnasium, Panthers, Vikings. Last chance in one number four. Our score 63 to 53 as we head to the break. Here we go, full quarter in full effect. Vikings have the lead 63 to 53 as Sarko so had the ball. As they are in, they control the ball right now. It's 63 to 53, they'll score. And Roberts goes to the paint, into the drive. Good. 65 to 53, they'll score. And how did Sun Grant will have those layups? That's a three pointer. And that's number 21, CJ Austin. Nine point game here with 725 remaining. And that's what we have to do. Get this game up in the concern. Just but now, how can Sanko respond? That's a block. Panthers had the ball. Here comes the inside shot. Trying to make it a six point game deficit. That's not gonna go. Carrollton. Has the returns. There's a three pointer. That's not going to go either. <coughs> and Sakura might have a rebound. The thing the bag is for Sakura and for the potential. They are trying to do some starts. They're putting pressure on them. And they are not giving up. They're down by nine points. How can Sakura respond to this one? Fire on Tony. That's number 23, and that's going to be Sonic Grimmett's first team foul here in the fourth quarter. I can have to, I mean, this is a, this is a good game here. <coughs> I can even tell right now. 
Jenkins for three. That's not going to go. Wapas with an easy, easy rebound. Roberts, inside, here comes Cecil, Cecil, inside, the inside layup. And you have to be surprised that's going to be Sark Brown the ball. <coughs> he trusts it. I mean, so I think, I think Pamela T. Clark trusts it, for sure. <coughs> I'm not sure the can, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Roberts again for three. Bam! Score for his team. Alright, now it's a 12 point game. Number 10. Looks. That's a triple team all over the game. And. Austin is all over the game. Pushing up and in is down to 10. A double digit Liam Brown. Almost win. This time he goes. A 12 point game here with five minutes remaining. I don't know how to fall for this for Mason Brown, but you this team, you gotta be in just. <clears throat> it's back to 10 now. Every team has its movement on how this game right now. And you just got to do this whole thing, continuing this, taking to the deep wall now. Trying to make it for three, but not for two, for the easy layup. This time he keeps the ball and Mason Brown again. That's a foul and one. Mason Brown. This house has been torn up. It's going to get torn up for a bit. Uh, not gonna, not, <coughs> I'm not going to express for sure. He's a brown miss his shot to the free throw line after making the bucket. It's a 10 point game right now. I mean, 12 point game right now for sure. I think, I think so. As you look right now, there's everybody skiing right here. You, you can you gotta imagine what can happen here in the skiing for sure. Oh! He tries to he step out of bounds. Sign cover up by double digit. Now Wabbas. Plus on. 72 to 60 on score. Three minutes to get four minutes to go here in the corner. <clears throat> As you look at the clock, there's everybody's game now. Here comes the easy luck. Here's number zero, Harrison with the layup. Oh, what a game! 14 point game, and now it's a 11 point. It's a 11 point game here right now. And Roberts to Brown, Brown again, Brown again, Brown again. And Terry, uh oh, look at this! Bang! What a duck, Taylor City! This time, C.J. Austin. It's a 10-point game with 250 remaining here in the fourth quarter. I can't believe I cannot say this whole thing that goes on right now. We don't have to watch it, y'all. We just live it. I mean, everything that goes on in the mouths, that's that's a whole that's a whole new ball game. You can just feel it. And so I'm gonna call a timeout here. 
KJ Terry putting his best job here tonight. It is a double digit lead. Our score is now 76 to 66. Our score is now over late. We're late in the fourth quarter. <clears throat> All I had to say is, wow. Five minutes, four minutes after nine. A ten point game. They try to hold on this lead. They down back, but they're up by a double digit. Sensor with a second team foul, Sanko will have a first team foul. Let's go! Let's go! Boy, what a game it has been for us, ladies and gentlemen. Go to it! Go to it! Now? And it will be Sanko with a second team foul. It will be Sensor third team foul here in the game. That's just how it is. All the masks can change the bar. They can get everything they have as a scene. I'm not sure this game is. I'm not sure that this two teams that this team is going to bar, but you gotta be in just. Gotta be in. in aggressive. Robbers again for the layup. Mason Brown again. 12 point game here. And number 10, Kester. Second team foul for soft gravel. And Kester will go for the line on the two minutes for me here on the game. And a special timeout. Hope you. Watching this game right now, this has been a good one for both teams. Sonic Rammel. At the line, I me. Mean, has to at the line, King T missed his shot. No get. Maybe a level four game. He does. <clears throat> 78 to 67, our score. So we got double tackle goals right here. Well, it's a double tackle goal. And Wobbles will go from the line for shooting two. It's his first shot. It's his second shot. 13 point game here for Sonic Rebel. And they're going to have the ball here. We're on the two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. We're glad they have it. So glad to win. Our score is 79 to 67. Sonic Rebel love to build on it. Mason Brown goes to the paint again. Mason Brown has been asked. Standing here tonight. That's for sure. It is everyone. It's in control. It's all song coming at this point. Jenkins with a shape Shavers with a three-point game. Looks like they're going to try to do that, and, and it's an eight-second violation. Eight-second violation with 115 remaining here. So, I believe Sensor are going to have a quick shot or a three or whatever. That's still in the scheme right now. It's 81 to 70. Dottie, either easily up. That's nine points. They cut in a nine point lead and a timeout taken by Sensor. One on eight remaining here in the fourth quarter. Our score. Franken's up by nine. Defense! 
Everybody in this past of the crowd is on his feet here in the Denise and on this. A story is Eddie Watt to set you to It's in the vice game now. Here comes the easy steal. Look at this. The double team. Looks like they're looking to win the fire's call. And it's going to be Sensor's 15 play. Both teams have they everything this had in this. The, the signs in this building has to be very, very full house in this very morning. Has to be very high. These fans are pulling in right now. Terry missed his second shot. It's a, it's a nine point game. Sensor trying to go and have to hold it up and make that shot. Seven point game right now. Five has caught. He is taken. He is now over yet. The size of this building has been really high, really pumped up, on foul. These fans are putting in right now. That's how I can tell you, he just can tell you everything is going to be. I can tell you that right now. A nine point game. Sensor. With a plus. Mason Brown can tune in. They show us that Sensor has shown a hard fought game here tonight. <coughs> 35 seconds of game. Eight to three to thirty to four score. He misses his second first shot. It's a 10 point game. That will not go. And inside, Newton Klein, Roberts has a foul, and he'll go for the line. Hope we got, hope we got your minds on the watch here for the. Hope we got the mind to buy some food, but it might be time to eat out. One last shot, and now we're in it. Wampus has scored his three four score for his team is 86 to 74. Fire's calling on South Bend. I cannot go continue this whole stuff. Now they're singing that song, na 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 Hey, 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 goodbye. Last shot for Terry. Gets his layup. Scoring for his team. 14-point game. 88-74. to 74. As time is running out. Final seconds in this game. Last shot for Sensor. And that will do it. Sir Grammar will celebrate here tonight. 88-74. to 74, Our final score. Huge victory for Sir Grammar. Well, the game has been just unbelievable, absolutely. And Sonic Grandma have finally played our final regular season of home game on Seal Night, and they showed their appreciation. As you can watch and see the last time, for the last time here tonight. Well, this is absolutely unbelievable. They had a great game, they had a great 
season. But it's now over that. They're going to play for our tournament next Tuesday. That's Tuesday right here. See you Tuesday. And Billy, what an answer late game. It was a good one. They put this on the books. The final regular season. A single night here on this game. It is actually late game. But I got to tell you what. They are winners. And they are losers. For Sarah Grandma. We're looking for the win for Sarah Grandma right now. They're going to be in the tournament this Tuesday. Right here on the NFSS Network. Our final score in on this one. Sarah Grandma 88. And Grandma Cecil 74. This is why we love Viking basketball. For Billy Crabtree, Joseph Cook. This is Bobby Jones here in Cremor, North Carolina. Good night.